Think and Grow Rich is one of the best selling financial literacy books out there. Each chapter in the book is devoted to a step to riches, according to Napoleon Hill. He's the author of the book. And so he breaks down the book into chapters. And each chapter, of course, is what he thinks is a necessary step to achieving real wealth in your life. But one of the tactics in one of the chapters, I think is better suited if you have anxiety. That's just how it's been beneficial for me. So I'm going to explain what the tactic is. And it's really up to you how you want to use it. Because people obviously have had success using it to achieve financial freedom. But for me, it's been most beneficial for combating anxiety. It's the following. So here's the tactic. You close your eyes every night before bed. And... You imagine yourself as the chairman of a meeting with invisible counselors. Now, I put quotation marks because these counselors are real people, but it's invisible in the sense where they're not actually there, right? You're imagining the meeting to be true. But the counselors are up to you. It's up to you to decide who's going to be at that table because you're the chairman, right? So you're in control. And the people that are supposed to be at that table are people that inspire you and people that have characteristics that you wish to emulate. That's how Napoleon Hill used it. He thought of people that were financially successful and he really studied them in and out in order to make it seem as real as possible, to make the experience feel as real as possible to the point where he couldn't even tell imagination from reality. That's how effective his imagination was because he really studied these people inside and out. So for me, whenever I am feeling anxious, I imagine myself talking to Dr. Nicola Perra. I don't know if you know her. She goes by the holistic psychologist on Instagram, but I really like her advice. I like the way she presents her information on Instagram. It's really clear and to the point. Um, I like her take on mental health. So I chose her as the only really member of the council meeting well also jesus also i'm gonna put jesus in there because jesus i i like to get wisdom from the bible so he'll be in there sometimes <laughs> but really like i said since you're the chairman it's up to you who is at the meetings that you want when they're at the meetings you're the chairman you're in control and that's what's so cool about this tactic is that it puts your mind to rest because you feel like you're in power, right? Even though these people may be more powerful than you on paper, right? Because of their achievements, what they're known for, what they've done. The whole point is to make you feel powerful by having you at the head of the table, right? You're the chairman, you're delegating, and they're there to give you advice and to serve you. So it really helps put your mind at ease, give you confidence to achieve success in whatever area of life you're trying to achieve success in. So for me, I use it for combating anxiety. So achieving success in get being really healthy with mental health or, you know, for people who read the book, they use it to achieve financial freedom and level 10 success in their finances. So pick whatever people that you want at your table. And it doesn't have to be every night before bed. That's just how Napoleon did it, but it could be any time of day. And Study them in and out so that the advice feels real, right? That's where you have to put in the work, okay? It's not just like closing your eyes or else it's just going to be a dead conversation, right? Because you don't know them. And because you don't know them, you don't know what they're going to say. And it's not going to feel like real advice. You really need to do your work of studying the people and being like, okay, what would they do if they were in my position? And literally asking that when you imagine it. I'm asking Dr. Nicole Perra, I'm like, okay, like, what should I do given that I'm in this situation? Like, what would you do given your expertise on this subject. So that's how they're there to serve you. And I really hope this tactic helps because it's helped me. Let me know in the comments, any thoughts you have, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.